Guten Tag. <laughs> Welcome in to Liner Notes. <laughs> mein Name ist Tom and this is a man advertising for the pack adverts. <laughs> Yes, welcome back to Liner Notes. Excitement is at fever pitch. Appearances are doubled because the world's biggest beer festival is around the corner uh, and we're all just bloody excited. I'm Tom, co-founder of Sinks Brew. I'm Sam, the other co-founder. And uh, welcome back to Liner Notes, a series dedicated to telling you all about the beers that we make here at Sinks Brew. The flavors, the designs, the ingredients, all the details. Today we are talking Luftballoon, our beer made especially for Oktoberfest is a German fest beer, an absolute banger. This was another beer that we released during lockdown last year, and the fact that it's come around again so quickly shows just how far we've come. Excited to give it its proper, proper launch this year. Steins at the ready. So, let me tell you about the name. It's named after the biggest German language hit of all time, Nina's 99 Luftballoon, which is the English translation 99 Red Balloons, which has been covered by all kinds of bands, including Goldfinger, which that's my personal favourite, but also 48 Street Collective, many more, some dance remixes, you name it. But everyone knows the tune, everyone knows the uh, the, the, the riff. So uh, it made sense to make this uh, German epic style of beer after this mega, mega hit. Right, let's dive in. Achtung. You see a really nice sort of golden colour to that. This is a decoction mashed lager. And you're looking for that deeper, slightly darker colour than a pale lager. What have you done? Shall we take a sip? <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. What are you tasting? Got that a little bit of uh, residual sweetness, real um, aromas, you're getting kind of grassy, some herbal notes, uh, gentle bitterness. But I think it's sort of gentle, but like it's lingering bitterness. And there's a kind of spiciness mix in there, and the, those two aren't million miles away in terms of flavours. Um, but you're just getting that, a real, real depth of flavour in this lager. It is a proper lager. I think it's, it's a perfect example of, of the, what lager can be in its most perfect form when, you, when you're going to the, the nth degree to make it just dial up to 11. Long lagering time, but then that decoction mashing is just making it so deep, so complex, um, and just velvety in the mouth. You mentioned earlier on about decoction mashing. Do you want to expand on that for my benefit, but also <laughs> for everyone else's benefit? I'd absolutely love to. Oh, brilliant. So, decoction mashing is a, is a process we do on some of our lagers. Uh, it's, it's a bit more involved, takes a little longer than a normal lager brew, and it's an age-old process that they've used back in Central Europe, in Czech Republic and Germany, in their lager brewing since the dawn of lager brewing. So, decoction mashing is when we do the mashing process, pass forward to the lager tun, and then take a portion of that mash, grain and all, back into the mash tun and boil it. We boil it for about 60 minutes, it's about 350 litres, and what that's doing is creating the Maillard reaction, which adds a sort of velvety, deeper, complex note to those beer. That's coming from the fact we've kind of toasted the grains in that process, producing malanoidins, uh, which, which are just going to create those little cues that we want from, from a deep, complex lager. Mission complete. So let's talk about the ingredients. Obviously, we've got some pills and malts in here. We use a lot of those ones, but what are the other kind of malt characteristics we've got in here? Well, in this beer, we've always got the five key ingredients. Uh, water, yeast, malt, hops, and balloons. Um, and time. And, and time. So, Pilsner malt, Hallis tradition hops, the most perfect clean water that's gone through our reverse osmosis unit, and then some German Safflager yeast. The, uh, the German purity laws um, that have been in place since, I think, the 1300s? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Probably since the dawn of lager. <laughs> Almost exactly, just then. I mean, it's a very simple, very simple recipe, and the kind of the quality comes through from the quality of the ingredients, the quality of the techniques, and yeah, we've just kind of worked really hard on this recipe, and it really comes through. In a world where the boundaries are never ceasing to be pushed on what we're putting in beers, this is a classic. It's stripped back to the four core ingredients. This is a demonstration of what the amazing things you can do with those simple fundamentals that beer has been following for for centuries. We we took the very literal sense of the balloons to spell out the word Luft balloon, which looks really cool, but it's on the backdrop of these kind of traditional checkers, which uh, you see across all the beer halls during Oktoberfest, and, and you'll see them here as well at our, our Oktoberfest, which is 24th and 25th of September, 2021, if you're watching this in 2024. Don't know what the dates are for 2024. So we wanted to create something really simple, but very striking, explains what it is, 
and kind of just reflects what the beer, the beer inside. So that's everything you need to know about Love Balloon. We've covered it all off. So keep your eyes peeled for more news. Save the date for 24th and 25th of September where you can come down and drink this beer with us, celebrate with perhaps some brass music, perhaps some sausages, some bratwurst, and uh, plenty of beer, maybe some steins, who knows? Thanks for watching Linux. We'll see you next time. Prost. Prost.